Um, I'm gonna say this. How many of us lied to ourselves? Stop! Shalom, and welcome back to White Pack by Tina Sharif, and welcome to your weekly message. And this weekly message is going to be called 10 Reasons to Know It's Time to Go. So let's pray out. Lord, we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We magnify you, God. And we thank you for everything you've done, everything you're doing, and everything you will do. Lord, we love you and we ask that you forgive us of our sins committed knowingly and unknowingly. And we repent of sins committed by us and our ancestors. Open our eyes and our ears, our hearts, our minds to receive the word that you have for us to hear today. Make me your personal conduit so I can say to your people what you want me to say. Um, me in the background, me in the foreground. This is all about your glory, sir, and that's it. And we thank you for the knowledge, and we thank you for the revelation. We thank you for the confirmation, and we thank you for... I, it, it rhymes. I forgot it. Well, in the name of Jesus, amen. So turn with me, if you will, to Luke 17, 3. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him. And if um, he repents, forgive him. And then I'm like, when you read a little bit further, it talks about, well, if he does it over and over again, if it's like seven times during the day, then you, if he has, if he repents, then you continuously forgive. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about this. So, um, I, I understood what this message, um, was talking about. Um, I think we should definitely walk in forgiveness and love and have compassion for one another. But if somebody keeps doing the same thing over and over again, that's not true repentance, and they're not truly repentant of whatever they're talking about. Repentance means, yeah, we're going to turn away from it. We're not going to do it anymore. But if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, that means you just don't care at that point. And then you rebuke him. Hey, time to go! Okay, so um, I guess first reason... Um, number one, God is not first in their life. If you're an unbeliever, that's not really that much um, of an importance. But if you believe, oh, it's totally important. Um, it, it totally is important. Um, that is personally my deal breaker. I'm like, I'm sorry, you you have to um, love God. And I'm like, if I'm seeing that another thing, person, place, thing, whatever, is elevated to that God status in your life, <laughs> time to go. Um, number two reason is lies. Lies. Be honest and be truthful. I always say, and I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the Bible too. I always say, I rather hear an ugly truth than a beautiful lie any day. Um, it hurts sometimes to receive it, but at least I got it and I received it. And so now, now I know where everything stands. So just put that that way. Um, I'm going to say this. How many of us lie to ourselves? Stop! Okay. So number three is low self-esteem. 
<laughs> oh my God. Low self-esteem. Um, I feel like when people have low self-esteem, it's like they self-sabotage things. It's crazy. Um, I'll use myself as an example. I had one person who wanted me like ultra thin for personal reasons. Um, and I was starving myself. I was hungry. <laughs> and the sandwich and the Lord. Um, then I got with another person and it was the opposite. He he wanted me to be ultra big and ultra job of the hut. Give me Jedi. And had me eating all the time. Even when I was like, dude, I'm fasting. Dude, I'm trying to be good and do a Daniel fast. I'm trying to be vegan. No, not according to him. So, um, he, because insecurity, he was insecure and he didn't want other men looking at me or anything. So he thought if he made me huge and then nobody, and I'm like, but it's me. That's all I'm going to say about that. It's me. I'm like, doesn't matter how gross or huge or anything. I'm like, I still walk with God's glory and I still have an amazing personality at the end of the day. And it's like, mm, that just shows you the enemy can't stop you can't stop you won't stop <laughs> okay okay i'm sorry um number four arguing about the same thing oh my gosh can we talk about this you should not be arguing about the same thing you argued about five years ago when you first got together um example if i was arguing with you when we first got married about the toilet paper being under and not over um five years later i should not be arguing about that um i um uh, this is why this is so important like attracts like this is why this is so important because um we should be arguing about like more important things like building our um legacy we should be arguing about like kingdom stuff like like this is how we're gonna do this or this is what we're gonna do on this ministry on this day but then it's like but we already made a commitment here so we're gonna argue about but it's kingdom stuff and it's about stuff like building a legacy like um i want our kids to be homeschooled no i want our kids to go to private school we're arguing about things that matter toilet paper even though it's important to have to wipe yourself. It doesn't matter. So, I'll put it that way. Number five, manipulation. Gross. <laughs> manipulation is so disgusting. Um, ooh, let me, okay. So growing up, I always heard, and I'm gonna stop it at five. We're gonna make part one, part two, but I, growing up, I always heard, um, yeah, the man may be the head. God may make the man the head of the household. But the woman is the neck that turns the head. Manipulation! No! Wrong! Um, when I looked up what it meant to um, for a neck, what was the purpose of the neck? The purpose of the neck is to support the head. Mm. And then the purpose of the neck is to get vital nutrients from the heart to the brain. Vital nutrients like that's pumping through your blood like iron. Iron sharpens iron. So it has nothing to do with manipulation. It has nothing to do with that. So yes, us feminine. <laughs> I don't want to gender specific because I'm like, we know there's some feminine men. 
it is what it is. They're supposed to support. You ain't turning nobody's head. And let me tell you, um, you should definitely um, be headed in the same direction and know that from the get-go. No, this is what it's going to be from the get-go, from the start. So you're always headed in the same direction. You won't have to turn nobody's head. You just need to worry about keeping it up there. So I'm going to end this. And I'm going to end this. And stay tuned for part two. Um, and I'm going to link one of the life-giving messages from Bishop Kevin Foreman and Harvest Church in the description. And I pray that it will bless you. Thank you so much. And shalom.